Okay. Um, welcome, America, to Angel in the Woods. Another edition of Angel in the Woods, brought to you live and in living color. Angel in the Woods. All right. For those of you that don't know, this is live. You should really re-examine your interpretation of television. It's live. Live to tape. That's right. It's uninterrupted by anything Live known as, as, yeah. as structure or commercials. Right, commercials or any of that stuff. Yay for public television. Thank you. Yes, very, very good. So, what should we talk about this week? Oh, oh, oh. Can I give him the plot? I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't okay. mean. I know because he was about to say something. I, I was. Okay. But <laughs> let me just interrupt just for a second. Okay. And say until Christmas, we're going to close each show with a Christmas song from that CD that I made. But this is the unplugged version. At Christmas, for Christmas and New Year's, our shows will be the full music, strings, piano, and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. But until then, we're going to give you an unplugged version each week. So uh, we'll be closing the show with that. Okay, so now. Now, uh, what were you going to say? What were you gonna, where were you going? I wasn't going anywhere. You weren't going anywhere? I had to take my cat to the vet today. Gandalf. Gandalf? Oh, really? And how, is, uh, how did it turn out? Okay? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I... The, vet, the vets came and um, they had to get some blood work done. Okay. And I told them, I said, he's been having issues getting, every time I take him to the vet, because he's been going so frequently, he right. gets more and more... Anxious? Yeah, well, mm. angry. Oh, okay. He becomes more and more like a cat, an okay. angry cat. Okay, right. So I told the, the technicians, I said, you might need to sedate him when you draw your blood. Right. Oh, no, we can handle it. No, seriously, you might want to sedate him. Oh, no, no, we can handle it. Right. Usually it takes about 20 minutes, 10 to 20 minutes to draw the blood, uh, depending on how much they need and, wow. and stuff like that. Mm. You know, because you have to, it's tiny things and animals. Right, and yeah, okay. So 30 minutes go by, here comes the vet, the veterinarian. Excuse me, miss. Um, we're having a hard time getting Gandalf to, you know, he's really, really become angry and, right. and very rough to deal with. Hostile. And I said, yeah, I know. I told you to sedate him. Right. And he goes, well, we just want to let you know we might have to sedate him. I'm like, did you not just hear me when I said sedate him? Right. And they're like, so is it okay? I'm like, yes, sedate my cat. Right. And they're like, okay. Then they had to ask me a whole battery of questions to make sure that anything that they give him for a sedative doesn't counteract any of the medication that right. he's currently taking because okay. we actually have to test his blood levels for the medication, his medication levels in the blood oh, okay. is what we were running the test for. Okay. And then, so then they give him the medication, the sedative, but it takes 10 to 20 minutes for the sedative to sit in and, and right. take effect, and then they draw the blood, which takes another 10 to 20 minutes. Right. So I was at the vet longer than I wanted to be. But he's good. Gandalf's good. I'm, well, we're, I'm glad to hear that, because I was apprehensive when you mm -hmm. told me you were taking him to the vet, and I knew that Basket Case City... I could, I'm was, very calm when I have... Could. As long as it's not an emergency. Well, but, but who, Even oh, when it's I mean, an emergency... I maintain calmness yeah, okay, fairly afterwards. well. Okay, afterwards? Yeah. I'm pretty yeah. compulsive because, and, and what I realized, and um, and maybe the par parents out there can realize when you have children that when there's an emergency situation, you have to be the calm one because you have to make those decisions. Uh -huh. And um, so I tend to be very, very calm right. in emergency situations. Well, that's, so that's if I start to show panic, then you know something's gone really haywire. Okay, well, I always worry because you, you say something, you know, that about, about you, you, you know, you, you, you know, cry and stuff like that, and I was afraid you might, I might get a call before we shoot today and say, well, I can't make it, so I had no idea, okay. you know, <coughs> pardon me. So what do you want to talk about this week? There's been all kinds of things, we, we've missed the whole, you know, we haven't spoken about anything political in a while, and uh, it's probably good, I guess, we, we haven't spoken about, I will tell you this, that, what's I mean, I've been, I watch a lot of comedy shows and, okay. and stuff. Like, I, this, there's a TV show called Chelsea Lately, and okay. she's very funny. And um, it's all all these comedians come on her show, and um, it's really funny. And they were talking about 
the Occupy Wall Street movement and right. yada 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 right. and which and they had some funny comments. Anyway, they also had um some comments about a couple of the Republicans. Herman Cain was of one course. of them, and then there was a girl that was on there because she this I don't remember her name. No it comments about Obama, of course. They, it's it idol worship. But it wasn't you know. Michelle Bachman. But right. I don't remember. She was blonde haired lady, though. Right. Who's another Republican who was blonde haired? Okay. Okay. Anyway, so she had made a public statement about how our blacks are better than, or more educated than your blacks, referring to the black Republicans versus black Democrats. Somebody and would I just, say that? Yes, yes. And I just keep thinking to myself, really, That's fun. like. You know, because I, 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 I always reflect on things that you the comments you make about Obama, and, and I don't actively go and research them because right. you know have, they're true. Well, I don't know. I don't necessarily know they're true, but I. Well, I um, lie to you. I have no reason to lie no, to you. No, but you also should not. I'm not even to shade. Oh, definitely, I do have my opinions. I have to admit that. That's very you true. Yeah, I don't. I don't research them because I have a lot of things going on in my life, so right. I can't find the time. It's right. hard for me to find the time to just you know, you know fact check fact me every check week. Things. I understand. So um, one of these days I will, though, and you'll get... But I know, you go okay. right ahead. All right, here we go. Da-da-da-da-da. And can, you, can I tell you something? I was speaking to a black friend of mine. Okay. Oh, I didn't think conservatives had black friends. That's what we're up against. That's what we are up against. Black friends. That's the reason Herman Cain got so much trouble. Why did they attack him? Why did they try to smear him? Because... Democrats have heavily invested in the minority community, the black community. They okay. have, you know, because they've been, they've controlled the schooling in the inner cities. They, they've, they've, they've limited the ability that these these poor kids get their education from, and they've been telling them for 50 years, we're going to take care of you. We're going to take care of you. We're going to take care of you. And if they had taken care of them. They wouldn't they'd still be, be telling them that we're going to take care of them. Okay. okay. And, so that, and so that's what they've been doing. And the reason they've come down, the reason they come down, and of course they have the media, is their, their video goons, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, the reason they come down so hard on any black conservative, female conservative, is because they rely on those votes. And if those people ever woke up and realized mm-hmm. you've been telling us the same garbage for 50 years and you haven't done any of the things you've said. Why are we still in this? Bu-? See, then they would lose their base. That's what they're really terrified. That's the reason Herman Cain terrifies them so much. You know, I mean, I know they're really scared of Sarah Palin, well, they, but they're really uh, but, they're scared of Herman, Herman too. Herman Cain's campaign manager getting on doing an internet ad and smoking on the internet ad also hasn't helped his campaign. Have you either. seen the ad? I saw part of it. Did you see the part with the smoking? Yeah, it's at okay. the very end. Wow. Anyway. He takes a puff and blows it out. Now, I would share with you what was the point of doing something like that. Right, but 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 you have to think of today's uber-sensitive parents. That's what I'm saying. Why anyway, would you so, do something to right. yourself so like that's that? That's the point that I brought. That, that, the, whole, that wasn't, the point that I was yes. trying to say is that I... Um, I, even though I don't fat check, I do. I do reflect on things that you say okay. about Obama, okay. and I do under. You know, I understand where you come from, and I think you know maybe you're right. And and so I've kind of. I, I'm a. Um, I did vote for Obama, but if there was another candidate that might be better qualified that comes along, you wouldn't be afraid to I vote for them. I wouldn't be afraid to oh, vote okay, for them, God right? Bless you. But, well, why would anybody say well, so, but, something but so no, stupid? I've said, I, 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 and I know I've said this before. Right now, Obama's going to win by default because. The, even even like the Demo- you know the Democrats are like we don't have they don't have to Obama doesn't have to at this point even run a campaign because the Republican campaign has already won Obama the election <laughs> do you know what I mean like not that only was a do female, I know what you mean but that was like a female Republican something or other who makes that comment yeah. you know and you're like yeah but you got to keep in mind really? there's a difference between the Republican elites and the the base, the grassroots, the conservatives. Right, right. But let me share but with what you. what the media is publicizing. Well, even but that's that, their that job. You say that's a, yeah, that is it's their like, job. They work for the like, Democratic Party. The, the, the media right, is a member right. of the DNC. But what I'm saying is, is that... Except us, we're not. Is that the... Um, that America gets its political information from... Well, yeah, like, if, if all of a sudden there's no... Reporting on any of the Republican Party, right. I would assume that that's because there's somebody that the Democrats or the media is afraid of that they don't want the public to know about. No, 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 or because something like that. Well, you know no, I mean? no, I know what you mean. But, but like, 
I just really, I just started laughing. I'm like, the, you guys, the Republican Party's got to get their act together. And you know, and one of the really nice things is there's probably a lot of folks that that feel that way. Oh, Obama's in, you know, and that's great because de Democrats have a tendency to stay home when they think that way. They do have a tendency to not show up. So I'm really happy to think that there's a bunch of folks out there that think he's in. Because I don't think he has a prayer. Might even look at their own party and be like, "Well, this is the, this no. is the you have to but keep in mind. This is the primary the season. Yeah. This is when we're trying to find the person that's going to represent us." But Obama is in such bad shape politically and economically that he has to he doesn't work. This is not the president of the United States. This is the campaigner in chief. This guy hasn't put in a decent day's work since he's been there. He's in France and he's yelling at the Republicans. This guy has pissed away, excuse me, more of our money for nothing than any president that we've ever had. In some cases, you can make then even a handful of presidents. This and his he and his wife go someplace. They take separate jets. What is that? I mean, these these people. That's why I laughed at at, at the Occupy Wall Street people. These people are so stupid. They're occupying the wrong place. I mean, that shows how dumb they are. They're down there going after the Wall Street, and it was the government that caused the problem. If they had been down in, in D.C. doing the things that they were doing, not the violence, but the protesting, and that's something else we can get into because it ain't a protest when you get paid three to six hundred dollars a week to be there. But not that's every, not but, protesting. But not that's a job. Yeah, but the but vast majority of those, the vast majority of those people are getting paid. The, all the all the real people, they're gone. The people that came, nobody can stay there for three months. Mm -hmm. The people that came and maybe really believe something, they have now been replaced by the people yeah, provided. You know, I will say there was some, somebody said something weird, and they um, it was again Chelsea lately, but the way that it had been stated was that the protest there are volunteers. She said the volunteers at the Occupy Wall Street are handing out something something to the protesters, and I'm like, yeah, what is that? Why would, aren't the pros, pros, you mean, I'm thinking like, so the protesters are taking care of themselves? Or, like, you know, that's, and I was like, well, maybe something's funny going on there. Yeah, well, but there is. I really haven't watched a lot of Well, I news mean, and I, and I haven't watched it. I get my news from Chelsea lately. You that's know, sad. Well, but it's a statement of America. But that's one of the great things. When it was just NBC, ABC, CBS, and the New York Times, they controlled the news. That's why it was possible for them to kill John Kennedy and Robert Kennedy and get away with it because they control the news flow, flow through those few agencies and they could control what, what, the, uh, what the story was. Do you know, we have a whole generation of kids out there mm -hmm. that don't understand that the term conspiracy theory was something that was ginned up to mock people that were speaking the truth about the killing of John Kennedy. They wanted to brand them all conspiracy theories and then ridicule them. That's where it came from. That was a badge of honor in those days. Yeah, you're gosh darn right, I believe, in a conspiracy because that's the only thing that, that, is, that is possible to explain the events. Hmm. If you can't explain the events any other way, you can't tell me that one single guy, it's the same with Lincoln. The, the people don't talk about that. What do we hear about Lincoln? John Wilkes Booth killed Abraham Lincoln. John Wilkes Booth was just the guy that pulled the bullet, that pulled the, you know, the shot, the gun in there. They never talk about the fact that five or six other people were attacked the same night. They don't talk about the fact that there was that there was it was clear that there was no protection. Nobody would go to him. There was a bridge open left for a guy to get out of town. So, you know, it's all. You know, they found Booth's diary. It's always a diary. I love this. It's always a diary. Keep a good record. But those pages are gone. Hmm. You know what I mean? So, I mean, it, it's, it's unfortunate. So that's why, I, and, and, and the, these Occupy people, this was a part of the plan. When you can't run on your record, you've got to change the story. Why did they, the, why did they attack Sarah Palin so much? And I'm, I, I don't think she's gone. I think she's... I think, she's, know, doing, think, she's, I think she's doing. I think she's running an gonna, unconventional. She's going to pop up at the Republican uh, convention. I, I don't know. Well, I, I, is the convention that, that is year? my. That's my opinion. I don't know if it's true. Tampa. Oh, you going? Yeah. Why I don't, not? I know because I'm not into crowds. I'm not I'm just not into crowds. That's not me. That's 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 not me. Um, 
I'm not. I'm just not into that. But uh, in any event, uh, there are attacks on her. Then this this thing that they did with Cain, trying to st trying to smear him and slander him. And when they couldn't get the woman who said that, and dig this, she made her claim after he was gone for a month at the National mm -hmm. Restaurant Association. He wasn't even there. He, he, he had no part of it. Then she made her claim after he was gone. At the time, there were people that said it, that she wasn't believed. They wanted to get her to go out. The National Restaurant Association said, you can come out and tell what you want. We have lifted the confidentiality ban. No, no, she didn't want to come out and talk. So her lawyer goes out and talks. He's doing his job. Wait, He's out there. Wait. About what, though? I'm Sla thinking. Slandering Cain, okay. saying, or smearing Cain, saying that he, and she doesn't want to come out and talk about it, but I'm here to tell you that she stands by what, okay? And uh, so, and, and, and this is what you get, and it's a tragedy in so many ways. This is such a wonderful, beautiful country, and what's happened is these people have infiltrated, they've gotten elected, they've brought in their people. Do you know we have the Justice Department that is as aligned to the, to the mob as it is more aligned to the mob than it is to Americans' justice? I mean, these people and the things that they are doing and allowing to be done, you know, it, it, now, and, and, and it's now, and it's going to someday, you know, things always come out after a period of time. It's just an absolute total tragedy, and it's such a, it's such a shame because this is such a great country, and we've allowed freedom. And freedom, you know, the Chinese said, don't worry about the Americans. Mm -hmm. They'll sell you the rope to hang them. Okay, well, we've, had, we've allowed people to misuse the courts and, quote, freedom, personal freedom, to undermine what we are out there. So now you've got these people in all the different cities uh, doing this little Occupy thing, and I and I really blame the mayors and the people who put up with it. They should have never tolerated it. If you can't stay there at night, you can't stay there at night. You know, you don't just say, "Oh, okay, well, we don't want to." You know, do we have rules? Do we have what? Dig this perfect example of what we're up against. Mm -hmm. I'm working with a fellow the other day, mm -hmm. and where we work, you are well mm -hmm. aware of this. We have rules, right? Okay, and this. I'm, I'm pointing something out to this the young man, mm -hmm. obviously a young man. They're the worst ones because their head's full of mush and they haven't grown up enough to know right from wrong yet. Well, I shouldn't say that. Not all. You know what I mean. Right. I'm oversimplifying. Okay. And uh, we have to watch out. Okay. Uh, and, he sa and, and, and he gave me one of those, well, yeah, you know, a, a really mushy response to the rules. No. This doesn't do. This, this doesn't happen. You're, that's your part of your responsibility is not to allow that to happen. Well, you know, no, not well. You know, it's a cut and dried thing. Mm -hmm. we, we, we live in an age where we've lost yes and no, black and white. When I used to fight with your predecessor, okay. who was convinced, you know, not convinced, but was very a wordsmith. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, it, it, it was very, sometimes it could be very frustrating because, but I will say, like yourself, she was also smart. That's what made her valuable. You're I, smart. I That's think, why you're valuable. You know, I want to say, it, with your, the mushy responses and the loss of yes and no, I think, don't you think that that goes back to the parents when they raised them? Because I remember when yes. I was a child, I remember when I was a child that my parents were very yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. But then um, when my sister, maybe when my sister was in about, my, my younger sister, not youngest, but my younger sister was in about third grade or fourth grade, you started hearing things about new um, child raising techniques. Yes, right, and right, right, the, the new you know, age, the right. Negotiating and, and right. counting down. And my mom, my mom tried some of those on us because, right. you know. It was I, the rage, was, I know. Yeah. And, and it, you couldn't, when you start a pattern of discipline, if you change it in the middle, don't work. Can't do that. It, yeah, you lose everything. And so it, we, my parents, quickly realized that it didn't work. Right. And went back to the old way of this and this. And if you do this, there's a consequence. There's no negotiating. If you talk during church, 
you're going to get spanked when we get home, right. and then you have to kneel on frozen peas for 30 minutes. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> like, okay. okay, and after, and you don't believe them until you have to kneel on those damn peas. And do peas. it, That's right. And after you kneel on those peas, right. you ain't doing it again. Right, and let me tell you something. And nowadays, the little punk kids are calling an attorney. Right. My mommy made me kneel on peas for 30 minutes. And, you know, and, and then, then what happens? That's what they learn. They don't learn right from wrong. They learn how to get around stuff. Right. And that does not prepare them for life. And, 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 the way, and that's, listen, but we've gone back how many times is it the parents? We always come back to that. That's Obama's problem. The reason he hates America as much as he does is because if you read his, his story, you know, uh, and you read the things that were done to him as a child, you know, I mean, and I don't mean, you know, hanging him up on the wall and beating him. I mean that, you know, vanishing parents and nobody's there, no steadiness, no. And then when you, when you, when you, when your real father is gone and, and he's replaced by a, a communist and who rails on about, you know, all these, you know, you, 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 it's easy to understand why he's the way he is. My problem is he's president. Right. I wouldn't care if he was having these psychological, emotional moments and he was down at Reverend Wright's church. But this guy is wrecking the country. He is spending money like a drunken sailor, giving drunken sailors a bad name. He's wasting the money. He's playing coney capitalism. He's giving money to people. He gave money to, the, to those people at Solyndra knowing that they were going to fail. They were his buddies. And, and it, we all know it. And the media knows it, and they won't report it, and they don't talk about it. Let me tell you something. Mm. They, they, they're the bias in the media... No. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh. I started to say this before. The great thing about the fact, because I got off on the, when I was talking mm -hmm. about the JFK thing, these people do not have the power they had before. That's one of the things that they realized. <clears throat> the Internet, talk radio, yeah. there are so many new sources of information. They can no longer just control the story. That's why they're having the problems that they are because they, 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 they grew up during a time when they could dictate. You know, they could dictating. dictate what the story was and they've lost that control. The, 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 the news media has almost zero credibility. I mean, I mean very, very, very low credibility. And, and it's not surprising because they, they've sold their souls uh, and the sad thing about it is they're convinced that they're right and we're wrong. If we would just shut up, I mean, Bill Maher said something about if the people would just shut up and do what they're told. I'm sorry. There are countries like that. If you want to live like that, go to one of those countries. That's not for us. I brought a tooth broke. Mm -hmm. So that's why if I sound a little funny, that's why. I'm, I'm, Tina handed me one piece of candy. I bit in it, tooth broke. And then she said, oh, you're supposed to suck them. That's good news. This just in. Here's the pieces. Mm. So, trying to get it fixed. How are we doing? Two? Okay, we have two minutes. Okay, two minutes. Then, then we have to get out. I have something that has been missed for 40 years. What? 45 years. Well, I'm going to tell you next week. Oh, God, okay. Okay, and we can talk about it because I because it's. Oh, and I want to talk to tell you about an article I read. Oh, really? Okay, that's yeah, very good. Online. <clears throat> okay, and uh, uh, and on so, Facebook. Okay, and one of the so so just to wrap up, the I really wish you know, and they got down on Kane because he talked about, uh, and look at this. Think about this, Al Sharpton. I was a, I was a New York. I'm a New Yorker. I was in, I was in a New York. I was I was right 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 there in New York City. Okay, mm -hmm. Al Sharpton, Tawana Brawley, lies. All lies and more lies. Now this guy is a host on MSNBC. Talk to me about a new low in journalism. Okay? Then the people... We've talked about this too. The civil rights industry. Mm. Okay? You know? And, uh, you know... I'm over so, those people too. You know, I mean... Uh, yeah. And well, you know what? Well, I, so I, are most blacks. I think I told you about... You know, every... Jesse Jackson thinks he's God's gift to... Whatever he yeah. thinks he's God's gift to, but... You know the reality is, is he's just a pain in the butt. That's all, and and he and he's and he and 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 then they're 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 seeing and their in power the slip away. Area, and I'll tell you from the, in the, from my experience in the Chicago area, if there's anything that looks like it could be turned into some sort of racial situation, right. he's there. And, of course, and like, 
It's like he's got, you know, some super sniffer or whatever, and, you know, oh, well, my God. Uh, it's called I got survival. Beat up. Yeah, he's I got trying. beat up. Boom. You know, and he's like, yeah. My, my friend here. And, 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 okay. and just like, shut up. And, 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 and yeah, then when they did all the smearing of Herman Cain, where, where was he? Where I heard crickets. Right. I didn't hear anybody speaking up for him. This is, excuse me, these were anonymous. Okay, these were anonymous accusations by people who still have not come forward. Now, there's a little bit of lag time between mm -hmm. our taping and our airing, but, uh, you know, the, 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 the smearing of Herman Cain, it's really a shame because I don't know if he's going to be president or not, but he's got a right to try. I, well, I don't think the Republican Party is going to get a decent nomination. Okay, well, I think that that's really good. A I want all point. the Democrats to feel that way. I want them to so, just go fishing yeah, in November. Go. Okay. Um, <clears throat> now. Do until, something good every day. Right. Enjoy the music. Enjoy the music. Oh, yes. This is a Christmas song. This one is called The Christmas Waltz. A lovely tune. I hope you enjoy it. This is just me and my guitar, okay? So don't send me nasty letters about, you know, anything like that, okay? Okay. Bye. Frosted window panes, candles gleaming inside, painted candy canes on the tree. Santa's on his way, he's filled his sleigh with things, things for you and for me. It's that time of year when the world falls in love. Every song you hear seems to say Merry Christmas May your New Year dreams come true And this song of mine In three-quarter time Wishes you and yours the same things too It's that time of year when the world falls in love. Every song you hear seems to say, Merry Christmas, may your New Year dreams come true. And this song of mine in three-quarter time wishes you and yours the same things too. As they should be Upon this Christmas night 